I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for simple ways to make my play sound a little bit different, to make it stand out a bit. I've got three easy ways you can do that today that nobody seems to be talking about. All you have to do is choose one of them and execute. Let's go. One thing I love to do is to break up a single note solo by playing some chords inside of it. But I was always mystified by how people could play so quickly all those chords. Here's a super easy way of using just the pentatonic scale and one chord to do just that. Suppose we're playing an A blues. We could take an A 13th chord like this. And now just play the top three strings on that chord like this. And yeah, I know this is an F sharp triad, but I think it makes more sense to think of this as an A chord because we're playing an A blues. And now we're going to take the pentatonic with that added blues note that we all know and love, but we're gonna put it on the top string on the thinnest E string like this. And now we can just simply play that A6 chord on the top three strings throughout that pentatonic scale. Here's what a line might sound like if you were playing it in a song. Now, if you really want to amp up your play, you could take one of the best blues songs out there, probably my favorite, and you can incorporate those changes into your solo or your chords, even if the rest of the band isn't doing it. I'm talking about Stormy Monday. Now, if you already know those changes, great, but let's go over them pretty quickly and you'll see what I mean. Here are the Stormy Monday changes in the key of A. You may be used to seeing them in the key of G like the Almond Brothers played it, or in the key of C like a lot of people play it. However, we're keeping it in the key of A to be consistent throughout this video. Now, check out in the first six bars, it's pretty much standard quick change blues. Nothing different about that. It's in bar seven that the Stormy Monday changes really kick in. That's where it's different. And what I'm talking about in this little trick that you can use is to emphasize what's in bar eight, the minor chord movement that's there. Let me show you, it gives it real uptown sound. So when you get to that part of the song, you play the three triad, then the flat three triad, then the two triad. And it sounds like this. And now here's what it could sound like in an actual blues solo. Now, if you're wondering about those triads, wonder no more because in the description of the video, I've got a free triad map that's linked there. So check it out. Now, everyone knows that the blues is a one, four, five, but you can add a diminished chord. Yes, a diminished chord between the one and the four chord, and it gives your play an instant dynamic feel. This one's really simple and effective. Let's take the standard 12 bar blues here in A, and we can see we've got the one chord A for four bars and then the four chord D for two bars. What we're going to do is just insert into the second bar a D sharp diminished chord, and that's gonna have a huge effect on the sound. Now, if you're not familiar with the diminished chord or actually the diminished seventh chord, it's really simple. We're gonna start with a D7, and now we're just going to take that bass note and move it up to D sharp. And that's it. And sounds like this. It gives your play some dynamism because you've got that moving bass line. You can incorporate this diminished idea into your solo or your rhythm play. And that's true of all of these ideas. So let me pull out all the stops. I'll do all of them at once. I would advise you to just choose one, execute on that and get it down and then move on to the next one. But here's all of them at once. What's cool about this one is the band's not even playing these changes. They still work. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, if you really want to amp up and ramp up your blues chops, check out this video because it'll have you playing the blues and really making that guitar sing like B.B. King. Ooh, that rhymed. <laughs> so check out this video. We'll see you there and we'll see you on down the road.